What up? It's Cardinal Official, a.k.a. Captain Cardi Gras. And right about now, you are watching Manifesto TV, okay? In this episode of One Mic, we ask, what's your favorite thing about Toronto? I need is one mic. Being in Toronto, everything, um, the people, the, the city, the tower. I have friends that have moved from Calgary, Edmonton, Vancouver. After they did, they did school at whatever schools, Waterloo, Western, McMaster, and then they just ended up settling down in Toronto. And they refer to Toronto as their origin now. Probably the balance of everything. Because when you go to a lot of different countries around the world, continents, cities, whatever, um, they might be like amazing within one department and then the other stuff they're lacking. You know what I'm saying? I think for here we have a great balance of a lot of things. Some cities have beautiful girls, but they're not the brightest in the world. Some places have smart girls and they're not the best looking. The favorite thing of Toronto, man, everything's women with these guys. Um, yeah, definitely culture. Favorite thing about Toronto is definitely the culture, the diversity. It's nuts. Toronto's the only place that you see so much diversity and in such a harmonious, like so harmonized, right? So everyone's so different from so many different places and, and they all just come together. And it's like a huge cultural like mecca in the sense that like you can find any culture around here, you can eat anything around here and like all of that kind of mixes in. My favorite thing about Toronto is the diversity. I could be in Toronto and feel like I've been everywhere in the world. Right, because they have people from all over there. We're in Regent Park today, and it's a like great community vibe. Like, I really love the diversity and community in Toronto. You're allowed to be yourself, but also a part of the group at the same time. And that's what I love about Toronto. That's, a, that's just one of the things, but that's a big thing. Toronto's cultural, as we all know, but it's the people, man. Uh, yeah, we have a, a polite you know, style to us, but... We're very um, trend-setting. Uh, the history's been here for a long time, and it shows throughout everybody I meet that I speak to on a daily, to the restaurants I go to. Uh, Toronto is Toronto love all day, every day. We're just waiting for the city to blossom, and I think you start to see that happening now. You know, a lot of artists are starting to become recognized here that you know never would have before. So there is so much going on in Toronto, and there's so much that's going to happen. I mean, we're lucky to have Drake, The Weeknd. Party Next Door, all these guys bigging us up and giving us that platform, giving Toronto that platform to stand on to become a worldwide city. The city's got to support one another and, and show love to one another because that's the only way we're going to get it. So never, there's no, big up Cardi, big up Maestro, you know what I mean, big up the foundations, at Shaw Claire, everybody, you know what I'm saying, that's been in on this grind. The first thing that comes to mind is that it's home. Um, the second thing that comes to mind is that it's uh, the perfect mix of uh, a big city and small city so you can go as fast as you want but you can also get off that treadmill and slow down. And I think out of all the places I've been around the world Toronto probably has the most balance and that's why I like it because you can get the best and the worst of everything and I think uh, that's what life is about is uh, there being a good balance of positive and negative but always learning from the negative to make it positive anyway. I was born and raised in Toronto so I love everything about this city but we want to hear what you guys love about this city so use the hashtag one mic to get in on the conversation. Thanks for watching I'm Samantha Singh. All I need is one mic. All I need is one mic. All I need is one cup, one page, and one pen, one.